So in this lecture, we're going to look at a more hardware-oriented uh, starting point. So if we have an elephant's R, and we now proved in the previous lecture that we can hope for getting a primitive polynomial, and then we get a period of length 2 to the n minus 1. But that also means we might look at very, very long of these sequences. And that means that the states get rather large. And so in hardware design, people prefer having shorter states. So now the question is, what happens if we add some of those LFSRs together? So we're taking here one of length n, one of length m, and one of length k. So we're just taking each of them has their own feedback, has their own pins where they draw from, and then at the end we sum up their outputs. That's just a sum of bits. And so we're going to get whatever this, this result is as our output. So again, each clock cycle, each, well, each cycle, each of those advances one to the left, and then it outputs one bit for each of those. Those gets added, added up. And also on the right hand side, each of those feeds back the combination of the bits where they're drawing from. So let's do a concrete example. So here are two alphas R's we've been looking at at the last lecture already. So these correspond to the polynomials um, x squared plus x plus 1, which had period 3. And the other one corresponds to x plus x squared plus x cubed. Didn't look at that one, looked at the little brother, the x cubed plus x plus x um, plus 1. But this one has the same period 7 just a little bit of a different output. So here are the concrete outputs of these two. And if I now add them up, well then, first of all, it's just bits, so I can add them. 0 plus 0 gives 0, 0 plus 1 is 1, and 1, 1 is 0. But then if I continue, then I will add a second repetition of this period length 3. I should also highlight that, well, I'm adding full periods here, because that makes it easy to see the alignments. But of course, the output is one bit at a time. OK, so now added two full periods um, from the starting state of the second LFSR because, well, I had four spaces where I was missing something. So I'm adding six positions, summing things up. I'm color coding each second period will be dark red on the bottom and blue on the top. OK, so now the second one is over by two. So I'm adding another one up there getting more pieces. Well, bottom one is ahead by one, top one is ahead by six. Ah, six is two times three, so I am done now. So after, who let's count this. So there are seven, well, there are three of the dark red ones, so that means seven times the LFSR of length three, or three times the LFSR of length seven, so 21 steps till we get back to where we came from. Afterwards, it will repeat. Afterwards, it will be the same 0 plus 0, 0 plus 1, and so on that we've seen here. So this length 21 is the single period that we observe. And we should squint, but no, there is no obvious repetition. So there is like a, a run of four ones, there's a run of four zeros. We don't see those anywhere else. So if we're combining these two periods, 3 and 7, we're getting a period length 20, 21. And that's kind of the, yeah, obviously, um, if I look at the how many times do I have to write 27 and 3 in order to get an integer multiple of those being equal, then it's the product of those because they're co prime. Now, the other ones that we're still missing are if I initialize the second LFSR at all zeros, then I'm just getting the top LFSR. So that gives me a period 7 depending on the input state. So I'm just trying to run through all possible states here. It's not that you would want to have something which is just period 7, but we should account for all, well, I have 3 in the top, 2 in the bottom, so I should account for 2 to the 5 bits or 2 to the 5 states. And then if I take the 0 state for the top LFSR, then I'm getting the bottom LFSR. And finally, if both of them are initialized at 0, then I'm just getting the 0 sequence. So those then account for all periods, 21, 7, 3, and 1. So that's 28, 31, 32, as expected. Here's another example. So this is um, using the LFSR of the period 15. Well, an LFSR, so this is the x to the 4 plus x to the 3 plus 1. 
and again adding up the, the x squared plus x plus 1 out of this r, and then taking their sum. And now in this case we observe that 3 fits into 15 exactly, so here we have just the top one, 15 steps, then 5 repetitions of the bottom one, and we have one period 15. Well, that's quite a distance away from, we're expecting, well, 4 plus 2, so 2 to the 6, 64. So where are the other ones? Well, we can also get the 3 and the 1, obviously, and I get another 15 by initializing the bottom one with all zeros, but that still misses, well, it's 30, 33, 34, I'm still missing 10 states. So where are these remaining, oh sorry, 30 states? Where are these remaining 30 states? Now, if I start with a different offset, this was something which was happening naturally with the 21, that relative to the 7, the 3 was starting at every different position. Remember that there was sometimes sticking out by 2, sticking out by 4, and so on. So every point of those 7 positions, I had used as a starting point. Now, here, because they're aligned, I haven't used the different starting point, which is over by 1 or over by 2. So if I shift over by 1 the second um, period, well, second of this R, so if I initialize it as 1, 1 rather than a 0, 1, then I'm getting a different sequence again of period 15. So we can trace this, and yes, those two are different. And then, well, there's another alignment, the initialization is 1, 0, which gives me a third sequence again of period 15. So that gives me the missing 15 plus 15, so 30 states that I was missing before, and so I get my 64. Okay, so this means it's time to make some hypotheses. I think we can explain now most of what we've been seeing, well, definitely this alignment thing, and um, if it's 15 and 3, well, 3 divides 15, if it's 21, 7 and 3, then we take the product, Actually, we could do some more complicated cases where it's not one divides the other, but they have a non-trivial GCD. So let's put that into our hypotheses. So first of all, the maximum period, if we're having two L of his R's, they have maximum period P and R, then we're getting one L of his R of period, the LCM of P and R. So this LCM is taken care of that there might be a non-trivial GCD. <clears throat> Well, 15 and 3 would just be 15, 3 and 7 is 21, so it matches our experiments. Now, if those are primitive polynomials, so that means if the first elephant R has period um, 2 to the m minus 1 for some m, well, m the length, the other one is 1, and the other one has 2 to the m minus 1 and 1, then we can actually really list everything we've seen. So there was the example with the, with the 21, that we had 7 being 2 to the 3 minus 1, 3 being 2 to the 4 minus 1, and then we saw 21, 7, 3, and 1. In more generality, if we um, have a non-trivial GCD, like in the second example, then we need to watch out well, that 15 was maximal, but we're having 3, which is the GCD of the two sequences of period, the LCM. And then we had another 14, uh, another 15, the fourth 15, because, well, P being 15, we also have P plus the all zero state, and we have the R plus the all zero state from the other one, and we have a 1. So those come from initializing 1 or both in the all zero state. And that is actually accounting for everything, because we have GCD times LCM giving the product of the two plus p plus r plus 1, well, let's write this out, and then observe that this is p plus 1 times r plus 1. So exactly, well, p is 2 to the m minus 1, r is 2 to the n minus 1, so exactly 2 to the n times 2 to the n, and I want to account for as many states as this one has length and this one has length, so 2 to the m plus n. Now, we haven't seen so much about the non-maximal length, but I mean, the, the beginning has to be the same, right? I mean, we're writing this first one, and we're writing the second one, and we need as many as the GCD of the two. Well, so we're getting a period, the LCM of P and Q, and 
by doing the different offsets, we're going to get GCD, P and R of those. And we're going to see periods P and R and 1 from adding the all zero states. And then, because they're not maximal, we're missing a few, so there must be some other combinations from the other parts. And since I don't want to write too many letters here, I'm skipping it here, but okay, if you would not see 15 but 5 and 3, then you would see some more fires and so on, so probably this will work out. Now, with every good lecture, um, the first hypotheses are not the last hypotheses. So let's look at a counterexample. Let's just look at the third example. Look how innocent it is. We're just taking twice this nice and short LFSR, which we've been running around with in every example so far, and sum those two things up. Well, unsurprisingly, if you add two things which are the same, modulo 2, then you're getting all zero. So we're getting period 1, another all zero sequence. If we hadn't developed the theory before, this hypothesis, then you wouldn't have expected anything else. Now it's kind of, uh, duh, this is a counterexample to what we've just seen here. I mean, they have both maximum period, and so expecting the GCD, okay, the GCD is 3, we're expecting 3 sequences of period 3. And now we have a sequence of period 1. Okay, we can rescue this a little bit. Um, well, first of all, this will always happen when the two are starting at the same state, because, well, if it's 0, 1 or 1, 1 or 1, 0 is a starting state, doesn't matter. They would always have the same state, the same output bit, and so they would always add up to 0. So we need to do at least one offset, so let's start the second one, one step ahead. Then we're getting the 0, 1, 1 and the 0, uh, 1, 1, 0. Now at least we're back to having a period 3. But this thing is just the same as just one of them. Okay, so clearly you don't want to do a combination of two identical LFSRs. Well, that's again a natural thing. So we would have now a third build item or condition on our LFSRs, assuming that those two are not the same. Okay, so let's do a fourth example. So here we have a polynomial x, uh, well, x to the 5 plus x plus 1. So that's very similar to the x to the 4 plus x plus 1 or x to the 3 plus x plus 1 that you've been seeing. And then we have again the 0 and uh, the, the, the x squared plus x plus 1 polynomial. Okay, so the first one um, I calculated for you has period 21. So that already tells you 21 is not the divisor of 2 to the 5. Okay, so this polynomial is not irreducible, but okay, 21 um, is not so great, but at least it's, it's large. It's, it's a lot better than the 15 we had before. And okay, 3 is a divisor of 21, so we won't get larger than 21. And then here's an example. So if I'm starting in the normal at zero states for both of those, then I'm getting one polynomial, a uh, one sequence of period 21. Okay, good. So that's what we're expecting. Um, why am I talking about this? Well, let's look at this one. So here, the second one is initialized at 1, 1. And that means we're just shifting over by 1. And then we look at the output sequence. So that's 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, oh. Yeah, so this blue thing in the middle is the same as the one on the left and on the right. So this one actually starts with period 21. We're adding something of period 3 and we're getting something of period 7. So our period uh, hypothesis would have predicted that we're seeing, well, 21 three times from the GCD, then one more time from adding the all zero vector to it, then we would be seeing a 3 from adding the all zero um, sequence to the second um, LFSR, and we're getting the, the 1. And then some more for the missing states. But in this case, well, if we now shift by one more, you would get another one of period 21. And if you add the all zero states, you're getting another one of the period 21. So we're getting three of those, but we do not get the fourth 21. 
All right. Like in all with murder mysteries, uh, more after the commercial. Well, not there's no commercial, but you have to stay tuned for the next video. So there will be a resolution to this for the missing 4th 21.